Good afternoon, everyone, from Fighting for My Life series from the Tabernacle of David, Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem. Well, I have so much on my heart today, and I am more passionate now than I have ever been in my life. And you know, when things press around you, your passion and your conviction grows. At least that's what's happening for me. Yesterday I had a wonderful thing happen. I was at my Psalms watch at the prayer house and it was mostly women that attended. And towards the end, we were praying for each other all during as the Lord was leading. But some words were released over me and they were totally of God because God had already spoken those things to me. Now, these are women I've never met before, and they were speaking the word of the Lord. And, you know, often when I'm praying for someone, if we're in a circle and we're praying over someone, I'll stop if I'm leading and I'll say, does this resonate with you? And they'll go, and that is witness that the Holy Spirit is truly present because we've not met each other before. How could we know what God is saying? by the power of the Ruach HaKodesh in Yeshua's name. So I'm more passionate now than ever in my life. And I posted a lot of things on Facebook today. You know, my Jewishness is my heritage. It is my bloodline. It is my, my identity. It's within my identity, part of my identity. It is not what I do. It is not acting a certain way. It is not... Um, doing certain things. It is not le legalism or legalities. No, no, and no. It is part of who I am. I don't need to prove anything to anybody. I'm not interested. I'm interested in Yeshua. I'm interested in my promised Jewish Mashiach, my Savior, my Lord, my King, the one who laid down his life, who suffered a horrific death, but rose from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit. And the scripture says that the same power that rose Yeshua from the dead now lives in me. Resurrection power. Hallelujah. The promised Holy Spirit lives and breathes and has his being within me. Yeshua is seated at the right hand of God. Hallelujah. And you know, the Bible says that without faith, no one can please God. But with faith, not only are we heaven bound, but we can live a life that is pleasing to God. So, you know, when there's so much around you that squeezes you, what I mean is when there's so much falsity around you, it like it causes your conviction and your passion to truly rise up. And that's what you hear a lot of times when I'm speaking. The only thing that brings me to heaven is the blood of the Paschal Lamb, Yeshua. The blood that he shed on his tree of sacrifice, that execution stake, that blood is nothing more powerful in all the world. The blood of Yeshua is the most powerful thing because he conquered death on the cross. That blood is my atonement for all of my sin, sickness, infirmity, sin I've committed against others, sin that was committed against me, in iniquities, generational sin. He conquered death on that tree of sacrifice, on that cross. He did it all. And he gave up his last breath and he said, it is finished. So there's nothing, there's nothing for me to do besides only believe. Yeshua said the work of God is to believe, only believe. God loves me because I'm his. Not because I can perform my way into heaven or impress him or unimpress him. His love for me has nothing to do with anything that I could ever do. If I turned away from God, God forbid he would love me as much as he loves me at this moment. I'm his. It would break his heart. Oh my God, that's an understatement. But I think many of us as blood-washed children of God, subconsciously of course, are still trying to earn our way into God's love. It's impossible. He already loves us as much as he'll ever love us. Really. And there's a lot of legalism. There's a lot of wackadoodle stuff <sighs> that I've heard in this country. People have thrown Paul out of the Gospels. They've thrown out the Pauline Gospels. I mean, there's crazy stuff. There's crazy stuff. And so it makes my conviction and my passion for what I know is true even stronger. 
the only thing that will bring me to heaven is the precious blood of my Mashiach, the promised Jewish Messiah of the Hebrew Scriptures, Yeshua, God's salvation, Jesus. That is my bridge. He is my bridge back to heaven, not my Jewishness. That is a part of my identity. And I'm grateful for all of my life experiences, including my experience being bat mitzvah and going to Hebrew school and learning how to read Hebrew. And although I'm extremely rusty now, that's an understatement. But I thank God for all of the wonderful things that he's given to me in my life. And unfortunately, I also have to thank him for the, all the horrific things because our greatest weakness becomes our greatest strength. And so I was ministering to a friend last night that, you know, God will use everything, the most horrific things that have happened to us because of where he's bringing us to, whom he's bringing us to. These horrible things become our ministries, the pinnacle of our lives. It's amazing, you know, beauty from ashes. It's what God is doing, mourning to joy. It's his signatures, his handprint. It's what he does. And the times when I have said, why have you allowed these things to happen in my life? You know, I wouldn't be who I am if they didn't. And he didn't crush me. He brought me through it. And I spoke the other day as I was on my street talk series. Yes, it can feel like you're right at the edge of, cru of crushing. But he doesn't crush us. He doesn't desire for us to be crushed. But he definitely brings us to the edge. We are conquerors. We are more than conquerors. The Messiah who died for us, who rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures, proving that he is God. He's the only one you know who fulfilled all the messianic prophecies in the Tanakh, in the Hebrew scriptures. So, Jewishness, my Jewishness, my salvation, uh, my salvation is not based upon my Jewishness. My salvation is based upon my faith only in Messiah, Yeshua, Hallelujah. That deserves a show for our blow. So let's get with God's program today. And I just want to say this. You know, when people talk about Jesus, oh my God, the name Jesus has been thrown around in books. Oh, oh, oh my God, this whole thing about Christ consciousness, give me a break. That's not the Yeshua that I believe in. People use his name to their own convenience. People say, yeah, I believe, but I believe in everything else too. Then you don't believe. Because the way is narrow, right? Many pass through the wide road where, you know, all, all goes. But the narrow road leads to life and only a few find it. Lord, let me be one of those few. I cry out to you, Yeshua. Yeah. Uh, the believers are the minority. And the world hates Yeshua if they have not cried out to him. And we, he, you know, we are enemies. We are enemies of the devil because we are in Yeshua. Uh, and yet in Psalm 2, 1, God says, it says that he sits in the heavens and he laughs at his enemies. He also says that our enemies are his enemies. He will fight for us. Absolutely. He says, I've called you by name. You are mine. Let's fight in prayer and worship in prayer for our loved ones that belong to God who are still in the world and have not yet cried out to Yeshua. You know, and according to my faith, I send you reeling, devil. You get your hands off of my loved one in the name of Yeshua. We have all the power in Yeshua. When we pray, we pray in the authority of Yeshua. There's nothing more powerful than the blood of Yeshua and the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. God bless you from the city of the great king, the city of rejoicing, his resting place forever. Amen.